Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you today. Not that I can really see you, but in my mind's eye, I can. Because I recognize so many of your names when you leave me comments, and then I'm seeing so many new folks join me here on the channel, and I so, so totally appreciate all your support. Today's gonna be a really short video. It's going to be a giveaway, so I'm not gonna be able to reply to any of the comments. I'm gonna leave the giveaway open for a week, and what the winner is going to win is they're going to win some of my very favorite eyelash serum. I know you guys know exactly what it is because I've been raving about Blink for a long time. The most exciting thing, and I've talked about the Blink eyelash serum before, but the most exciting thing is that they now have a distributor in Canada and in the U.S. So you can actually purchase it both in the U.S. and in Canada. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to link all the information below. But the winner of this giveaway is actually going to win two bottles of Blink. And there's going to be something you're going to have to say in the comments below to make sure that you're entered into it, so make sure you watch the entire video. This is all about eyelashes and a little bit about mascara. So I have been for, gosh, for a long time, since 2016, I've been using an eyelash serum. I'm going to link some of the earlier videos so you can see I never had eyelashes ever. And I went through CarePost, I went through a whole bunch of different other eyelash serums. And, and also Blink. Now, the, the, the Blink product is, is, has the same ingredients, the Bitimer Boast, I know I'm not saying that right. And of course, if you're gonna be using this or if you're gonna be using any eyelash growth serum, you need to make sure that you're watching and you're monitoring so you have no side effects. So I just wanna get that on the table because there are side effects and you need to be responsible enough to watch your eyes. And if you do happen to have a side effect, to stop using any kind of product. I've been really blessed in the fact that I have had no side effects. My blue eyes have not changed. I don't have any any more additional specks on my lids or anything of that nature. What has changed is my lashes. They have grown and continue to grow. In fact, two weeks ago I had to trim them. So I have never had false lashes on, false eyelashes, other than when I was maybe 16 and I wanted to be like Twiggy a fat version of Twiggy because I was never skinny in my entire life. <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? So back in the day when I was a teenager, I did use false eyelashes. I did glue them on and they were, they were like really awful. I didn't really like them. But in my adult years, I've never used false eyelashes. I have just my own eyelashes now with mascara. And most of it is the products that I've been using on my eyes. So at night, I use my Blink. I've been using Blink at night probably about four times a week. On the nights that I use my eyelash serum, I make sure that I remove all my makeup with an oil-free makeup product. I usually use Equate. I make sure there's no buildup of oil at all. Or if I am using any kind of an oily cleanser, I make sure that you rinse it really well because it can inhibit the serum from absorbing into your skin, into your lashes. Then I take the little brush that comes with it, and there's a tiny little brush that comes with it. And I usually, you know, I sanitize, and I've mentioned this before, so I'm not gonna go into great detail, but I usually put a drop in here, and I wet my brush, and I apply it like eyeliner on each, you know, and I dip a couple of times, you know, until that's dried up. So it might be two swipes, three swipes each eye, it all really depends. But I swipe each eye, and then any residue I have left over, I just go through my brows. Why I do my brows? I don't know, I figure, hey, if it, if it does something for my eyelashes, it just might do something for my brows too, although I don't really know. So I do that probably about four nights a week. When I'm not doing that at night, I'm using black castor oil, and I have one of these little, you can, you can actually, ooh, I've got a little hair on this. You can actually buy these little tubes on Amazon, and it's like, a, it's an empty mascara tube. And you know that I actually coat the castor oil on my lashes. I coat it on my brows. So that I do. And, and then in the morning, I have been using, and this was actually sent to me complimentary from City Beauty. I use the City Lash. I use City Lash every morning. I, I use my, my Blink at night and I use City Lash in the morning. I feel the City Lash 
is like doing super, super job of conditioning my lashes. Maybe I'm overdoing it, I don't know, but I believe this really does a beautiful job on conditioning my lashes, make, feeding my lashes, making my lashes feel and look good, and maybe even giving a little bit of curl. That's what I'm thinking anyways. So in the morning, I use the City Lash. I really like this a lot, I really do. But at night, I'm using my Blink about four nights a week, sometimes five, it really all depends. And then the off nights, I use black castor oil on my lashes. That's pretty well what I'm doing for my lashes. So the other thing that Blink has come out with, they have come out with this really, really cool and I've mentioned this a couple of times, this made my May favorites. This is like an, an ear cushion brow dye type of a thing. And it just kind of, it. what I really like about this is that it really, it's easy to use. It's almost foolproof as far as being able to do your brows and it lasts all day. So I'm really, really liking that a lot. For my, and I apologize in advance for this is a mess. I should have got my unopened one. In the morning, after I do my wash and all that, and I do, and I normally put the City Lash on, I let that dry, I prime my lashes. I have been loving, and I've tried many different others. I've tried the Maybelline, I've tried the Revlon, I've tried many. What I have here is the L'Oreal, and I have the Pure. I've tried high-end, that it was sent to me, and I've tried low-end, and the Essence, Lash Primer is my favorite, favorite, favorite primer. And sometimes you can get this like $3.99. It's amazing. So I prime my lashes every morning. I let that dry and then I go to my go-to, one of my go-to mascaras. Now, I ran out of my It Superhero. I do have a unopened package. I'm not gonna open it yet, so I didn't bring it in because I wanna go through some of the mascaras that I have. I've gone through a lot. These are almost all gone. And I made a decision that life is too short to keep playing with mascaras that just simply don't work for you. And while these are lovely mascaras, the Tarte Mascara, um, this is the Wonder Lash Mascara, Wonder, is it Wonder Beauty? Let me see what it really is so I can give you. Wonder Beauty. This is the Grand Mas Randy Mascara. And this is the Pure. These are the ones that I have that I've been trying to go through and finish. I've made a decision that I'm not going to finish things that I no longer like or aren't really going to work for me. I'm just going to toss them. So what I have been using and what I, I am going to finish using because I really, really like them. One is the YSL, the Shock. I finished the black one. I love the black one I mentioned for a high-end mascara that was like, wow, did I love it. I still have the blue. I don't use the blue all that often, so this is sealed nice and tight for those occasions when I want the blue, I like it. The Sigma, and this was sent to me in a PR package with the Sigma brushes. The Sigma mascara, I just use on my lower lashes because the brush is really fine. To me, that's a fine brush. So I just use that mainly on my lower lashes and I really, really like it. So the mascara of choice is still my essence in purple. And I really like this one a lot. This is the es es Essence, this is the Essence Lash Princess. It comes in the black tube with the purple accents and writing. This is my drugstore mascara that I really, really like. I do want to try a couple of the mascaras that the CYO brand has, but I haven't got them yet, but I do want to try them because I really am fascinated with their product line. So I'm going to try that when I can get my hands on one. This is my mascara of choice. My second mascara of choice is my It Superhero. I do have a better than sex one. I should have showed that. I do have a, um, a better than sex one from Too Faced that I think I had gotten it maybe in a boxy charm a while ago and it is open and I am using it. So this is what I'm going to finish using while I have them here. And this is what, like I said, the Essence, how can you beat that price? So I have the Essence Primer, the Essence Mascara. I really like it. And that's pretty well what my routine is. So for those of you that have asked, am I using false eyelashes? No, 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 I'm not. I suppose I could if I wanted to, but 
but I'm not. And I think my lashes are pretty, pretty darn good. So on my head today, because people always say, oh, Monica, your hair looks lovely. I do love my hair. It, and it is my hair. It just isn't my natural hair. But I do own this. This is, this is the Raquel Welch. And this is Editor's Pick in shaded cappuccino. And I just have it pulled, you know, pulled off the air here with a little glitterly little um, bobby pin. And other than that, I just kind of fluffed it out and... You know, I've played around with the part. i played around with how I flatten it out. I'm going to show you the back for those of you that care. I know not everyone's into the wig tuck, but I'm going to show you the back. So I really like this. I like how this flows. I, I like everything about this. Oops. And I have a coupon for this, so if anyone is interested, I'll definitely link the coupon below. To enter into the contest, I want you to say you really, really want to win the blink. Tell me in that comment that you want to win the blink. Otherwise, if I pull your name and it's not in there, I know you don't want to win the blink. This is just about my eyes and, you know, what I'm doing. And hopefully, you know, the black castor oil, I think is an amazing, amazing, amazing conditioner. And I think your lashes, like your hair, like your skin, needs to have care. I think you need to condition them. I, and black castor oil, and even every now and then I'll stick it in my hair as well. It's a great, great conditioner. So that's, that's it for me today, guys. And I truly, truly appreciate all your support. Remember to tell me you want to win the blink. And good luck. Oh, did I tell you you'll win two of these? I can't remember if I told you that. You'll win two blinks. And if you are interested in their brow, their... Stuff is amazing. If you're interested in this, I have a $5 off coupon. And again, this is available in Canada and in the US. My giveaway is continental US only, mainly because the, the shipping charges and all that to go overseas. I'm sorry, guys, but that's why. So thank you all so much, and I will catch you later.